third part of your created being, body, soul, and spirit, that when you have data stored up in your hard drive, some of them are pretty hard, it, it will make it sometimes easy to believe that you maybe heard God, but you forgot that you really got that information somewhere else. And it was given to you maybe sometime that you have forgotten about. Also, you may be wanting something so bad, you have desired it so much that it's become a force within you to trick you into thinking that's what God said. The other thing is that we know that when we hear from God, most of the time it's a small, still voice. It's not a clap of thunder in the sky. It's not a bolt of lightning coming down. And it's very, very easy to miss hearing the voice of God. Now, people have heard God audibly, and I really believe in my heart that there's times that you can hear God so strong in the Spirit, it does appear to be audible. The only way that you really know if it was audible or not is if other people heard the same time. Then you know it's audible. Whenever you're hearing from Satan, whom we've heard more from than God, to be honest, because before you became a Christian walking in the Spirit, you were being led by Satan through him planting all kinds of, of uh, thoughts in your head that were really lies. And we continue with that even in our born-again, Spirit-filled life. We're in spiritual warfare deals with the soul. Spiritual warfare is a mental thing. And when we talk about the mental, we're talking about the mind. When we're talking about the mind, we're talking about the soul. A lot of people refer to soul as spirit. It's not the same. It's a totally different part of, a, of your makeup, your total part of your being. Because the soul is where the battle takes place. You make a decision. It is where you make the concrete decision whether you're going to follow God, whether you're going to follow the devil, or you're going to do your own thing. And whatever you decide to do in your soul will determine what happens in your life. That's why we are so adamant about saying what you believe will determine how you live and what happens in your life. And I've said it before in other lessons, and I'll say it again. Francis Safer, who is a wise man of God, said the very thing that I just said. Tell me what a man believes, I'll tell you what he'll do. And it's true. Because you see whole patterns of people going a certain direction because of what they believe. Some of them are doing well. Some of them aren't doing so well. Some of them are seeing catastrophe, but they're so hard-headed, they won't change for anything because that's what we believe. I remember many times growing up in a certain denomination that I'd see something in the Bible, I'd bring it up, and I'd say, well, what about this? And they'd say, well, that's not what we believe. Well, wait a minute. I thought we believed the Bible. And they said, well, but we don't believe that way. I don't get that. How do, how do you do that? 